Moving on to the seventh problem. The difference of squares of two numbers is 180. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Find the two numbers. Now let us assume the larger number is equal to x. So square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Square of smaller number is equal to 8 times the larger number. So smaller number is equal to square root of 8x. According to the first condition, the difference of squares of two numbers is 180. That is square of larger number minus square of smaller number is equal to 180. So we can write x square minus 8x is equal to 180. x square minus 8x transposing 180 to left hand side we get minus 180 is equal to 0. So the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 are minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. If we compare this equation with the standard equation we get a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 8 and c is equal to minus 180. So the roots of the equation become minus b which is minus of minus 8 plus or minus b square is minus 8 square minus 4 ac 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 180 divided by 2 times of a is 2 times of 1 so this is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus of minus is plus 4 times of 180 is 720 divided by 2 so this is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 784 divided by 2 so this is equal to 8 plus or minus 28 divided by 2 therefore roots can be 8 plus 28 divided by 2 or 8 minus 28 divided by 2. 8 plus 28 is 36. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 8 minus 28 is minus 20. Minus 20 divided by 2 is minus 10. If larger number is equal to 18 smaller number is square root of 8x which is 8 times of 18 this is equal to plus or minus 12 if larger number is equal to minus 10 smaller number is equal to square root of 8x which is equal to 8 times of minus 10 which does not exist therefore we must not take larger number as minus 10 this is because smaller number does not exist for the larger number minus 10 hence the larger number is 18 and the smaller number is plus or minus 12 Moving on to the 8th problem, a train travels 360 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 km per hour more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train. Let us assume the speed of the train is equal to x km per hour. So the time taken for the train to travel 360 kilometers is equal to 
360 divided by speed of the train which is x hours this is because time is equal to distance by speed now if the speed had been 5 km per hour more it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey so the increased speed is equal to x plus 5 km per hour so we can write x plus 5 km per hour now time taken to travel with the new speed is equal to since the distance is same we write distance as 360 and the increased speed is x plus 5 according to the given condition if the speed had been 5 km per hour more the train would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey so we can write 360 by x plus 5 is equal to 360 divided by x minus 1 so we can write 360 by x minus 360 divided by x plus 5 is equal to 1 so the LCM will be x times of x plus 5 here 360 can be taken common so here x plus 5 and here minus x is equal to 1 360 times of 5 divided by x times of x plus 5 is equal to 1 now we can write x times of x plus 5 is equal to 360 times of 5 so we can write x square plus 5x is equal to 1800 x square plus 5x minus 1800 is equal to 0. On comparing this equation with the standard equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, we get a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5 and c is equal to minus 1800. So the roots are minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So roots is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 times of 1 multiplied by minus 1800 divided by 2 times of 1. This is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 plus 7200 divided by 2 this is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 7225 divided by 2 so roots is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 85 divided by 2 so roots can be either minus 5 plus 85 divided by 2 or minus 5 minus 85 divided by 2 since the speed cannot be negative this value can be ignored so the value of x will be minus 5 plus 85 divided by 2 which is 80 divided by 2 nothing but 40 therefore the speed of the train is equal to 40 km per hour